Okay, here we are with another model matchup. This time it's green white auras versus uh, another blue white red control match. So uh, we lost the roll again, unfortunately. And uh, let's see if we get our opener up. So uh, this is our opener, obviously not a keeper. Uh, nice as it is to have <laughs> a load of auras in our hand, uh, no creature is no good. So we're going to have to mulligan this, I think. At least I hope I do. Okay, here was our second uh, mulligan. We're down to six cards, and again, no creatures. Not really worth keeping. So we're going down to five. This is actually fairly decent for a five card hand, and uh, gonna have to be happy with this. So raise verge into a noble hierarch. If we manage to draw a one uh, one mana aura, we might be able to play Spirit Dancer and draw a card in the same turn, which would be nice. But unfortunately, Hierarch eats a lightning bolt. Probably one argument for not playing Hierarch is just that it actually turns on a lot of your opponent's removal spells, which would otherwise be dead against your Hexproof guys. So, uh, definitely a consideration, but personally, I've been quite enjoying playing with Hierarch. Certainly helps with uh, possible mana troubles. So, you can have to play out the Slippery Boggle. And, uh, see. Oh, actually, we're going to play the Spirit Dancer and then try and Rancor, depending on what he does. We're going to Rancor up the Boggle. Seems as though the Spirit Dancer is probably going to bite it. Or it seems quite likely. Uh, I'm usually quite cautious in terms of uh, auroring up the Spirit Dancer. Even though it is a faster way to win, uh, generally you'll lose out. Uh, thanks to removal, so quite cautious. Actually counters our rank hole, which seems a little odd. But uh we still get the card draw so that's nice. And uh we've got spirit mantle. Put a verdict here which is pretty awful. So uh that must be why he didn't counter the uh, uh now we're in not a very good position. Draw a Dryad Arbor, so it's got to hook your auras to something. So I put a high number on it, that way uh, you can't actually kill it. Probably. He activates his Colonnade and attacks. I kind of figure he might have Path, so I don't want to use my Daybreak Coronet. I'm just going to attack for two. Hoping that it'll tap out next turn. Uses Electrolyze, which uh, just makes the Umbra go away. So that's no big deal. I'm going to try and Spirit Mantle up the Dry Labyrinth. And uh, just going to get in for one this turn. Don't want to put my Hierarch out there, especially seeing as though he has uh, Supreme Verdicts. So I uh, just decided to hold back. As it turns out, he uses a Supreme Verdict, so. Uh, And he plays a Geist. We play a Hierarch and uh, use my Ethereal Armor on it. It's still not quite big enough, but hoping to Daybreak Coronet. Sometimes. Sorry, just dropped something. Uh, so he activates Colonnade. I'm going to pass that away. And uh, he doesn't act with, act, uh, attack with his uh, Geist, which is kind of strange. I'm going to try and. Hell snared, and we're in a terrible situation now, really. Might as well attack with the Hyrax, and so we can't even trade with the Geist. And uh, our opponent's going to start getting in. Needed quite a lot. I hook up my Ethereal Armor. My opponent taps my, cre my uh, creature down, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's game. Deal six ten with activates colonnade, and uh, I've got no cards in hand, so I'm pretty sure I scoop. So uh, yeah, uh, we managed to stay in it for quite <laughs> quite a while, despite being a little bit blown out by the first supreme verdict. I managed to get there. If we'd got the daybreak coronet on, then uh, 
I think it might have been a different story, but unfortunately Spellsnare uh, crushed that particular dream. So on to game two. I will uh, be on the play, which is nice. Sounds a little bit risky, but I think I'm going to keep it. We've got Glade Cover Scout and the Serial Armor. And as soon as we draw a land, we uh, have a lot more going on. So I'm just going to run out the Scout. Draw the uh, land, second land. I'm just going to pry that with the Ethereal Armor. I don't see a lot of point in uh, running out Spirit Dancer just to get it killed. So uh, I'm going to start the beatdowns. Play a Rancor on my guy. Seems though it uh, doesn't really matter, it's going to come back into my hand. Even if he does happen to kill the, the scout somehow. So attack him down to 13. I'm going to try to play Spirit Dancer here, seems though I haven't drawn a card and uh, I mean I haven't drawn another land. But I'm happy to do that. He remains and uh, I'm just going to attack the 2 again. I just put him down to the, all the way down to 11. And their opponent seems to be missing land drops, so uh, definitely a good position for us to be in. I'm going to attack the 2 and try and play out the Spirit Dancer again. Again, I'm trying to avoid. Uh, Playing the coronet into his counter magic is it could be a very big game for us. Uh, I play out the scout here. I'm pretty sure that's well. I know he can't supreme verdict, so I suppose it's not a complete mistake. But it might not have been the absolute best of ideas. I guess I think I was going for the uh, additional beatdown. Now, if we ta start attacking for three a turn, he's going to be in some trouble. So I think that was my uh, thought there. Draw a Rancor, which is really nice. I'm going to play out the Spirit Dancer and Rancor to draw a card. He mana leaks the Rancor again, which seems very strange. Seems though he didn't leak the uh, Spirit Dancer, and I know he can't Verdict next turn. But uh, yeah, I suppose I probably wasn't playing around Verdict as well as I should have been. But uh, I'm going to hit him for three here. And I uh, can probably kill him next turn. If we can hit this Coronet. I assume that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to go for the Spirit Mantle, which he spells snares. And then we're going to go for the Coronet. So uh, we managed to bait out his counter spell successfully and uh, get the Coronet in, which won us the game. So, quite nice. Obviously, I think he might well have had a verdict, so we definitely need to win that turn. So maybe played a little risky, but paid off, and uh, we managed to take that game. So let's go to game three. Again, we're going to be on the uh, draw here, so not the ideal, but this and uh, this hand is quite creature heavy. But again, if we dra start drawing auras, we're going to be pretty golden. So I'm happy with this. We draw a theory armor. So let's play with scout. Also having lots of creatures plays around getting blown out by a uh, Supreme Verdict. Here's a Pyroclasm, surprisingly. So that was certainly a problem. I decided to just play out the Scout. Um, Going to try and play around additional uh, pyro Pyroclasms. Got three mana now, so I'm happy to play out my Spirit Dancer. I'm going to draw at least one card off it. And I'm uh, going to try and hook up my Glade Cover Scout with a Ethereal Armor. Again, put a, could have put it on the Spirit Dancer, but I'm worried about removal. Uh, not really playing around another Pyroclasm, I guess. But uh, I'm just hoping he doesn't have it. Which is perhaps a little optimistic, but... I'm going to get into attack for two here. So he plays a Talon Fountain, plays Think Twice. And, uh, yeah, we're also not really playing around Supreme Verdict, which I think is what's going to happen here. But fortunately we've got a uh, good set of cards in hand. We can actually play Ethereal Armor and Daybreak Coronet in the same turn. Onto our guy. While he's tapped out, making sure we've got a 6-6. Obviously it's a risky play in terms of that he might have another Supreme Verdict or another way to play for a scout. Well, there aren't a whole lot of other ways I suppose, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, at this point it's kind of all or nothing. If, uh, if he has it, he has it. 
but otherwise we're going to be gaining 6 next turn and we're going to be putting him on a serious clock. This cryptic taps all my guys and uh, draws a card and then bolts me. So presumably trying to burn me out. Clearly doesn't have anything. I'm still going to keep this ethereal armor just in case. I mean, don't want to completely get blown out and there's not really dropping another ethereal armor on a guy, especially if he's going to just try and tap it with a cryptic. I'm happy to play the Rancor though because if he kills my Glade Cover Scout then uh, I'll get the Rancor back anyway. This time he Cryptic's countering the Rancor and tapping my guys. So at the very least he didn't draw an extra card that turn. And uh, yeah, we seem to be in a fairly good position. He's definitely acting a little bit desperately. Once again. Still only got three cards in hand though. I'm going to get to him for half his life this turn. Going all the way back up to 20. So we're fairly safe. Fortunately we have our uh, path. Which is otherwise not very useful. But uh, here it's going to be enough to uh, seal the deal I think. Yes, I he uh, fetches up a land. And uh, there's only two lands, two lands avail available to him. He's uh, going to die this turn. So uh, we managed to wrap up this match as well. Which is pretty nice. Uh, I didn't think the blue white red control would be a good matchup, but uh, managed to beat two decks now, and uh, yeah, seems to be fairly decent, I guess.